The man cleared of murdering alleged underworld hitman Andrew Veneman has made a return to his old haunts in Ligon Street. Gatto spent his first full day of freedom for 15 months catching up with associates after a big welcome home party. Nick Coe with today's developments. Back among friends, Mick Gatto returned to a favourite Ligon Street eatery this afternoon. Seen off by associates after lunch, it was one of his first ports of call following an extraordinary 24 hours. Last night, dozens of friends and family gathered in East Doncaster to celebrate his first night of freedom since March 23 last year, when he was arrested and charged with murder. There was more evidence of a big night this morning, even a bizarre and unexplained appearance at the door. Gatto himself left early without comment. His wife Cheryl was more forthcoming. Just family, really. Our family and close friends. Nieces, nephews, aunties, uncles. Very much a family celebration. The family's reunion was forged on the steps of the Supreme Court yesterday when the 49-year-old was acquitted of murdering Andrew Veniamin in a Carlton restaurant. Gatto maintained he'd shot the alleged hitman in self-defence. Mick Gatto may have returned to his familiar haunts, but the family of the man he was acquitted of murdering has put up a wall of silence, refusing to comment on yesterday's verdict. Either way, the acquittal is a blow for prosecutors as they prepare for a litany of underworld trials. The Gatto family together once more. It's just be nice to be able to talk to each other without watching the clock for an hour. Nick Coe, National 9 News.